up everybody? Just got to the courts here for the semifinals and it's weird. There's not like a, a group of people mobbing me. It's almost like I'm only in a 3.5 tennis tournament that no one aside from the players really care about. <laughs> but either way, I'm taking this very seriously. I'm here 30 minutes early to warm up my serve because I don't break my ritual and that's what I've been doing. That's what's get, been getting me through and that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Uh, I wanna stay heads down, stay focused, don't let my emotions get to me in the match. I haven't seen my opponent yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what his play style is. Uh, he's the number two seed, so looking forward to that and I'll see you on the other side. My opponent won his first match 7-6, seven, 7-5, seven, so he is definitely battle tested and we take you to the third game and this is what my opponent was doing to me all day pulled me out wide on the forehand side took a dive there trying to get it I felt like i was stuck in quicksand the ball was just just went so fast and i couldn't get there um, at this point in the fourth game my opponent remarked hey a real serve battle huh and i thought to myself dang it i'm about to get broken so horrible mindset to have there but He's just pulling me out wide again. And like I said, I felt so stiff. I couldn't move. Uh, the clay was a little wet, so that might have contributed to it, but that's still, uh, that's what I was thinking. And on this break point here, I was scrambling around like a chicken um, and he took it and it got out of hand real quick, 5-1. And at this point I was thinking, I'm just playing for pride. Uh, I'm just playing for the channel. Gotta get some highlights because there really weren't any up to this point in the game. Um, and when I lost the first point there, I still wanted to, to buckle down and get into some sort of rhythm because I wasn't playing to win the game. I was just playing for a good rally. And playing for a good rally, I was just getting the ball back to him. Lost that point there. Nice compliment from my opponent. Uh, lost that point there, but started to feel a little more comfortable striking the ball. And on this point, again, I was able to get into him a little bit, but still swinging. And he's really good at changing direction. We, this cross-court battle was a frequent thing, but you can see there I'm hitting with a little more pace, even though I dumped it into the net there. I didn't give up, and I actually had a break point here. So let's see if I can finish it off. A little tentative approach shot from him, and couldn't handle it. So I got that first break, and here I started to get a little excited, and I started thinking, I'm gonna be this guy's worst nightmare. And this was easily my best service game of the day. I was felt confident. I was getting my first serves in, great passing shot there. And I took that game. Uh, and here, he's serving. I'm still feeling a high, I'm feeling the momentum. And I just felt like I was getting to every single ball. I had this thought like no matter where he hits it, I'm gonna get there and I'm and it's going back to him hard and he's gonna have a heart, he's gonna feel the pressure. I wanted him to get to the point where he had to serve it out. And I'm hitting audacious shots like that. Boom. And that thing skips off the line. I thought for sure it was out, but he called it in and I got really lucky. Uh, but this is a uh, tale as old as time. Here I am able to serve, to get back on serve. I'm back on serve and sailed it long. He took the first set, but that meant he had to start the second set serving. And he might have gotten a little lackadaisical, I'm not quite sure, but you see I got a break point here and he sends it wide. He was a little disappointed with himself. I held pretty quickly and just like that, I've got an early break lead. But I know that's not gonna be enough from my previous match history. Um, can't get complacent with a one break lead early in a set. That can easily evaporate. And when it does, it goes quickly. Definitely wanted that shot back, but can't win them all. And here, feeling a little pressure on this service game. We went back and forth on deuce for a really long time. And I, I mean, the whole, the video was 16 minutes long, which for frame of reference, that's a long, really long service game. Uh, that was two games, but I was, let's see. Okay, yeah. Finally, a hold another hold point. Let's see if I can get my, hold my water. Barely clipped the line and I got it. And I remarked, finally. Um, so at this point, I'm just trying to get an insurance break, putting a little bit of pressure on him. But this guy was solid, man. He had great strokes. He had great tennis IQ in the sense that he found what worked for me and he kept going back to it. I took that point, but 
he was if we were going to into a cross court forehand battle he was taking those shots every time he was taking winning those points every time so i knew that he i could tell that he was targeting it but like at this point in the match he did go away from it a little bit um, taps it back over here we go into this cross court exchange like he wants Wrong foots me. Couldn't get there. He was excited about that hold, and it was a great point. That was a great point from him. So here I am, serving to keep my advantage. Got some first serves in. Love tapping the ball back over like that after you hold a serve. And here I am. Want to go for that. I want to go for that break lead. Uh, he was up 15 zip, and I remember thinking, you know, 15 zip is a dangerous lead to have because it doesn't mean all that much. You get a little complacent. Um, and here I am serving for the match. I did get the break. So I was serving for the match and trying to get to a 10 point tie break. And actually, I'm just going to tell you right now, I lost this point. But while I lost this point, I did end up holding for the set, which brings us to a 10 point tie break, tied 1 1. And I started serving, and this is a second serve right here. <sighs> what a letdown. That means I'm going to be playing from behind the entire 10-point tiebreak. Uh, take fast forward to 3-5. Finally get a first serve in. And uh, the first eight points of this game, they were definitely nervy. There were double falls from both of us. Uh, mini breaks of plenty. He gave me a mini break right back. Um, but I coughed one up to him. Barely get this point. Keeps me within striking distance, which is what you want to have. But he won his first point, And... Let's see if I can get a mini break here to get back on serve. Wow, what a, what a cupcake of a shot. I just handed that thing to him on a platter. 4-7, absolute dangerous territory right here. I really need to hold both serves in order to stay in this because he's getting really close to match points. Had him out wide there. I got both of those points, 8-6. He's serving. If he wins this point, he's going to have match points on my serve. So it is absolutely crucial that I don't mess this up. Cross court battle like he wants. I got a little aggressive, hit the neck cord, and it skips long. So I'm going to have, I'm going to save match points on my serve. I thought to myself, pressure is a privilege. He stays that long. Saved one. Can I save another? 7-9, definitely feeling some pressure. That was definitely a first serve. So I got it out wide like I wanted and it sails long. Lost it, lost in the semifinals, but to a worthy opponent. Hats off to him, great guy. Did what I could. Well, I said what I wanted was a good tight match. And internally, I didn't want it to be a blowout. I just wanted it to be respectable. And I guess the scoreboard certainly looks respectable. But maybe I was lying to myself. I think I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted the win for sure. Um, but super grateful for this experience. Uh, when I was serving, uh, facing match points, I said to myself, pressure is a privilege. And it really felt like it. I was glad I was able to save one. This guy, it was a great match. Uh, started off a little rocky, but you know, he was hammering my forehand. It was just, it's the sort of match that you grow from, I think. And I'm glad that I was in the semis. Uh, but best of luck. Best of luck to the gentleman that I played. Great guy. Talked to him a little bit after the match. Had to apologize for being like, so like head down. Like he was, he, he remarked that he was a chatty fellow and I am not a chatty fellow during matches. I don't want it to, I don't want to rub people the wrong way, but I am like in, I'm in the zone. I can't show any emotion, but um, yeah, just uh, that's thanks for following uh, following us along on this journey. And just remember that at Trashman Tennis, it's all about the tennis trash we've been. And see you next time.